three hats. I think I'm gonna roll with the blue today. Well, okay, see that doesn't that doesn't really help the cause. I need to get out there. I need to get out there and get my paddles. I'm just gonna go with these uh these ones today. I usually use these ones. I don't really honestly know the difference. I think these ones are lighter, maybe bent a little differently. Don't know. I am ready. Frankly, I'm leaving you with the tan one. Sound good? What's up? Uh it's a kayak. I don't know if it needs a plug. It might need a plug. Oh whoa. Hey, look at all the little deer prints right here. Deer tracks. Oh, do 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 do. Okay. Welcome back over here to Lunkers TV. I want to say thank you guys for taking the time to watch these crusty videos. We're out here a little early this morning, which is good because it's summertime. Time check for you guys, it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's already 77 degrees, which is actually roughly around 10 degrees cooler than what it normally is. So it's good morning down here in Texas. Top water bite, hopefully it's on. Number two, hopefully we catch a Mondo today. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah. And of course, clearly we're in the kayak. So I'm gonna be throwing uh, the mini recon today. This is a new Hoogan squad edition crankbait that just came out it just released you guys can grab it on carl's right now which will be linked to the very top of the description and then also we have the mini banger look at that thing tasty and then i'm gonna show you guys some succulent stuff okay all right cool I already tied these on yesterday this frog i i kind of cut it just a tad short this is a googan frog and then okay that is the popper. That thing looks tasty. I might start off with that this morning. Yeah, so on these frogs, I uh, I trimmed that myself 100%. I trimmed that too short, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. But just look at that. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys away and start uh start trying to catch some fish. Rockley! Yeah, I'm, I'm just just trying. You know, I just realized, guys, I don't even have a um, seriously. I don't have any soft plastics tied on. I have no Guggen baits, like literally tied on to my rods. That might be a first on this channel. Sincerely, I always have soft plastics tied on, and I don't. Well, let's start her off with. Uh, let's go ahead and slide that sucker right there. Let's start her off with the old popper. A little Guggen popper. Oh, there he is. Oh my, right, that might be a good one. That was good. Hey, Rackley, up on the tree. Oh yes, that is a good one right out the gate. That makes me happy. Dude, this is a good one, Rackley. On the top water, on the old popper. Yeah, that's a quality one on the popper. Oh, now he's hooked in the... That's not good. Nope, don't do that. All right, got him. There we go. Hey, Rackley. Look at there. Yeah, good little popper fish in the morning. I like that. That makes me happy. Look at that, everybody. That's my first one of the day coming on that Guggen popper. Oh, wow. I'm glad I brought some pliers. Well, we actually have... We're, we, this is Brian. As you guys don't know, this is uh, Backwater Brian. He's one of the camera guys of our Guggen squad. So he's coming over here taking some photos of the new, new stuff. He's actually got John B's slow today. John B's old slow. Well, here we go. Look at that. Oh man, don't get caught up in there. There we go. It's not a bad one, man. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back in the water. There she goes. So if you guys are ever wondering where the photos come from on Google Squad, it's pretty much a gentleman by himself in a slow <laughs> sitting on the front deck of the boat with a camera. That's pretty much what happens. All right, well, I just hooked myself. That's that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna get back to fishing. This is pretty good morning for top water type conditions. Oh, that's not. You going for a, cro a crappie top water bite? That sounds about right. Oh my god. Okay, I'm I'm apparently not supposed to be casting back behind these trees, but I'm gonna do it. All right, fourth cast of charm. There we go. You got a good one. You caught a bluegill. That's. <laughs> oh, hey, you caught a bluegill. Guess what I caught? Oh, no, I caught a tree. Not even, not making that up. Oh! Ah! They're, they're all about the topwater bite. They are after this thing. And that was one of the most awkward hook sets I've probably done in a long time. <laughs> I'm like almost facing backwards of the kayak. This is the forwards. I'm sitting here like this. <laughs> I don't even know why I tried to set the hook at the topwater. 
That's when you know your mindset's like on elk. I do a full blown punching hook set. The water clarity here is amazing and it's deep. I'm legitimately facing backwards now. Probably should adjust my kayak. That is a dangerous cast right there. If the fish doesn't hook up, I'm gonna catch a tree. And if the fish hooks up, I'm probably gonna lose a fish and then catch the tree. Oh, there he is. There he is, right on the front half of that tree. I don't think he's that big though. No, he's not nearly as big as the first one. So topwater bite's still going on. Been here for about 30 minutes. We have another one hooked up clearly, as you guys can see right here. Caught one and missed one. This one's got all the troubles you could possibly imagine inside of his mouth. Go ahead and just do this just in case you flop around and try to pop off there. There we go. We got another one on the new Guggen popper. I love this color right here. This thing just looks amazing. Hooks are great. I love the feather on the tail. I'm all about that, the last trailer hook. Or uh, I wouldn't call that a trailer hook, the back treble hook. Ah, there we go. Little dude, a little pound and a half to two pounder. So I actually am throwing this thing on some of the Guggen braid, which you can also get on carlsbaitandtackle.com. Like I told you guys, if you guys click in the link at the very top of the description, you guys can save, boom, I almost fell backwards, up to 30%. Oh, you know why I didn't fall backwards? Because I caught myself again with these trebles in my pants. So this has got to get moved. That's not good. Come on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of, we're going to do this. I'm going to put those suckers up there. Huh. Like I was saying, if you guys want to grab some of the new Guggen baits, the Recon, like they just came out, the Mini Recon and the Mini Banger or some of the Guggen line that I'm using. This right here is actually 20 pound uh, Guggen braid. You can also get that on Carl's. I use braid on top water clear because it floats. I'm not really a big mono guy. Mono stretches, but it does float. If you guys don't know the difference, I'm not really going to get too crazy into it. I don't use fluoro on poppers. If you use fluoro on poppers, the front end of your, your popper will actually sink and then the entire thing will sink and it won't pop correctly. So I just use braid. And I just put my, my drag like this, just kind of loose. It's good. You don't need to set the hook like a banshee like I did on the second fish. That's not needed. I'm just kind of an idiot. So that's pretty much that. Like I said, click the link at the top of the bio. Go support the company that supports the Googans as a whole. Helps us with all of our products. I do love you, Carls, so much. Now let's see if we can catch a behemoth. Decided to move over here to this little uh, shaded pocket right here. It's still got shade on it. Why, why is this turning this way now? Oh, my lands! No way! I didn't even move! <laughs> what the heck? I was making a joke about this kayak doing circles on me for no apparent reason. Dude, he just came up and clobbered that thing. Brian came over here to get some, some photos or whatever he's doing. Look at that. Another one on that popper. There we go. Little dude. Man, these ones are healthy. I know it's not a very long fish, but that is a wide fish. You are very healthy for being a summertime bass right there. Yeah, have you guys ever noticed? There's got to be some way to stop a kayak from just having a mind of its own. Dude, I don't care what kayak it is. You'll be going one way, and then you sit there for a minute, then all of a sudden it'll just kind of just take you out into abyss. I didn't have to move it. Cast it, just let it sit there. Like, I wish there was a way, like, when you stand up, it just starts rotating. I wish there was, like, something where you can just kind of, like, do this, and you're like, no, stop. Yeah, like a minor adjustment type deal. Not like a major, a minor. What's Rackley doing over there? You caught a big crappie? Not shocking. I don't doubt it. I mean, he's Rackley. I will say this, I should probably be throwing this on like a seven foot three, not a seven five in a kayak. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came off. That was a tiny, tiny, tiny one. That was a tiny one. Yeah, if I had a 7.3, my rod tip wouldn't hit the water, so I should be throwing it on. Rackley's legitimately just sitting over a pile. I'm going to bring out the mini recon now, start really seeing if we can get him to eat. There's one. There we go. Right at the edge of this kayak. Oh, man. And he's pulling me into the trees. Nope, don't give me the trees. He's in the tree. Oh, there we go. Okay, just got one. Now I'm now I'm legitimately in the, in the trees, which is where he was. Okay, I'm all hooked up in the back of my chair here, guys. 
There we go, there's one on the Mini Recon. This is the color that I actually came up with myself. Look at that, you guys like that? This is the Mondo Shad color. Like I said, if you guys, I know I've said it many, many, many a times, I would like to thank Carl's Bait and Tackle for supporting the Guggen Squad. If you guys are ever looking to get any stuff like this, like what Guggen related products, please go check out Carl's Bait and Tackle. Thank you so much. Look at that, that is a beautiful, beautiful fish. I love that. Feels so good to catch fish on a bait that you designed, the color of, helped with design the bait as a whole. I absolutely love that, it's such a good feeling. This one right here, this little mini recon dives three to six foot. It literally bounce off the wood really, really, really well. Let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and get myself out of, out of the trees real quick. Just, just give me a sec. Oh no, don't hit the rod tips. It makes me wonder if they're like not even relatively on the edge at all. Way back in there. Cause I almost wasn't gonna cast back there cause it was so sketchy. Yeah, dude, he absolutely hammered it right next to the bow. It's kind of where he's going to lose him because he short struck me like right at the edge of the kayak. That's why you got to have your drag set like that. Everybody's sitting at home. Only with like crankbaits and stuff. You got to let them have some, have some play. There's another one right there. Literally right there. Another one right, right there. Another good little one. I love this color, man. That is, that's two fish and almost back to back cast right there with this thing. Mini recon doing work today. These hooks are so sticky. There's one. Where's the other? There we go. Once again, I'm back in the trees. I think they're up inside these trees. This water is so clean that I may have just pulled them off a bit of ways. Oh, that's okay. A little mini banger. I got it today in Cosmo Shad. Where are you? This is actually Rackley's favorite color right here, the Cosmo Shad. This is the mini banger. Little tiny square bill, pretty much, for everybody sitting at home that doesn't see it. Well, I can tell you what, don't, don't put your crankbaits in the trees. There's one. There's one. Come on, be good. Swimming at me right now. Oh, no, he's not good. He ain't no giant. Oh gosh, dang, what are you doing there, buddy? Dude, he's got that second win next to the kayak like that. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Oh, he's, he's held on by one. Hey, Rackley, I got an eater size right here. You want one? Well, I've actually caught another fish prior to this. He was just another tiny one, but the bite has really slowed down over the last half hour or so. Man, he was barely hooked, but that one hook, that one hook is in him. There we go. Yeah, I was in a little one. The bite is slowing down as the sun comes up, which is pretty, pretty typical for summertime bass fishing. I'm actually going to whip out the, hold on, let me get this out of the way. Rackley's favorite color is actually the Cosmo Shad, and I have that on my boat right now as a square bill, which is our little mini banger, which is right here. This is the color I'm talking about. This is the Cosmo Shad. I'm going to throw this just for a little bit. Up here in the shallow stuff. Oh, that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. They got you only got half paddle. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you what, when you hook into like a two pound bass with a six pound line on this thing in a tree, it's fun. So everybody sitting at home, I was the one that grabbed the kayaks this morning plus the paddles and I grabbed one full set and then I grabbed, did I just grab two? You grab two of the same, be like two of the same shoes, like a, two left shoes. I grabbed two with this, with this right here. It doesn't have. Two of, exactly, yeah. So okay. It's two male ends or female <laughs> ends, however you want to look at it. Uh, that's good. It seems like something I would do. I just want to watch you dangle one up. That's all I'm doing. Probably you're kind of. Yeah, I think I'm going to head over to where there's like uh, some, some shade. Rackley, there should be one on the end of here, huh? Oh, jeez. That'll happen to you someday. If I'm around till then, I will be very happy. A long time. Oh, crappie? He says backwater Bryant. Where are you at, backwater Bryant? Oh, oh, double up. Oh, he's off. He's off. The water's clear right now, so. Guess what color they've been. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh my God, he, oh, oh my God. Dude, I cannot believe that just happened. He came back and hit it, dude. He came back and opened up and swallowed it. Oh. Water. How cool. Dude, that never happens. I was about to tell you what color's been just doing the damage. He liked that little float up action. Yeah, I just stopped it, it floated up, and he tried to inhale it. Oh my gosh. Well, 
Dang it. That was still really cool. That was cool, yeah. You know, you say that. So earlier today, I had one come out of the water and eat it like a top water as I lifted it up onto the kayak. Oh. Again. I heard you screaming. Yeah, same, same, close. but not nearly as cool as that one. Yeah, that was a full blown. That was full blown dangles. No. Oh. My watch thinks I'm doing an elliptical workout. My watch thinks I'm doing an elliptical. I'm gonna go ahead and record an elliptical workout right now and see what it comes up as. <laughs> I don't know, it, it asked me to record my elliptical workout. Oh, you're, you're yeah, I'm reeling. I'm still in my workout. It says I've burned 63 calories so far. I love how the, the, the uh, bite just shuts off. It's insane. It just goes from fish, fish, fish to... <laughs> oh, sh that's a fish, isn't it? Yep, it's a tiny one, really tiny one. See that rod just I mean, that is a big and Here, you want them? What do you think, Gregory? Gregory, you want them? No, I don't, I don't like this size. That's crazy. Is well, there even a fish on the tube? Oh, man. Got another one on. This, this one is definitely better than that. The last one. This one is definitely better than the last one. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Whoa, hey, buddy. That is a good one right there. That, one girthy. that one's girthy. It's got a little bit of a head on him. Good fish. He's got all the treble hooks. Just just the, just the right amount to uh, stick in your hand. Oh, yes. What do you think, Ragley? Oh, heck yeah. You want to flay him? No. <laughs> That's a good one. There we go. Another one comes on the old mini recon. I threw the banger around for a little bit, but Rackley and I had a conversation. He's been eating, he's been eating, he's been fishing for crappie in about six to eight foot of water. And this recon goes down to six foot. I just think that they're sitting down there. I think they're sitting right there. Yeah, that's a three plus all day. What do you think, Rackley? Closer to four? Yeah? What do you think? Can you get close to four? Nah, he's a three, I'll, I'll say three, three and a half all day. Four pounder spring face. But here we go. I think I've caught two over three today so far. I think one on a top water and one on this mini recon. Oh geez, oh that's the cast of the century right there, look at that. Yeah, right off the front of this tree on this point, there's definitely some crappie on here if he's out here. Oh, not that tree, this one right here. You're leaving the 8th, or you going? you have to be home on the 8th? Okay. Oh, another one! Oh, this one's turning the kayak. This one's turning the old yak. Oh yeah. They've, there's some fish out here. This one's all, this one's sideswiped it. It seems a lot bigger than what it really is. There probably is another one in this one's fighting like crazy though. Oh, and he popped off. And he popped up, popped off. Love the kayak. Couldn't keep enough pressure. So he decided to just bloop, bloop. I don't actually think it was in his mouth though. Down by the river. Is anybody going with, oh my gosh, that's number two on that same, that same hunk of wood. Oh, this one's, oh, digging into a tree is what he dug. Dude, he's in this tree right here. Okay, this is when you know, see this? This is called the crotchal shot. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa. Mine's still hooked on. He's wrapped around this tree. Oh, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry, dude. I'm trying to like, I got a bass. I got a bass all hung up in the tree. Here, do you want to eat this one? No, I don't want that one. <laughs> I'm upset with that one. I'm gonna mess up my whole thing. I'm sorry. He drug me into the tree. There we go. There's another one. That's actually the second one. I just lost one a second ago at the kayak. Oh, this one. That hook is literally in my hand right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I think you know. You know what's great about this whole that one tree's ruined? Imagine. Look around you. There's trees everywhere. <laughs> He's over here doing the Louisiana catch and cook. Pretty much what you got going on. Yeah. Oh, that's a slab. He's really, he's alive, isn't he? He's, he's kicking. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back over towards the magic tree then.
quick time check for you guys. It's 10:10. 10, 10. We were out here for about three hours, give or take. Uh, it was a very, very, very good morning here in the summertime. You guys know in the morning you either gonna throw a popper for about 30 minutes to an hour in the early morning. And then all those fish that were up shallow are gonna move off deep. So that's why I switched over to a little crankbait here on this lake. They suspend around these trees. Generally, the bank is actually fairly deep. It's like five foot to like it, it literally go from five foot to like one foot, like really, really fast, and then from five foot to 15 foot, like significantly fast. So they kind of they kind of just they kind of just just suspend around those big big trees so the little tiny mini recon was doing damage today absolute damage if you guys didn't know we got rid of the old mustache sarah did not like it at all so oddly enough i show back over at the guggen hq and we got something that came in um about three days early it's actually all the cranks they weren't supposed to be here until monday so now i guess for, they're gonna be prepped and ready for the weekend so if you guys come to the guggen hq they're here they're, they're literally here i thought they were gonna be here three days like from now but they're not a giant oh yes that is what i'm talking about what is this they got everything mini bangers these all mini bangers mini recons no it's a mixture wow that's a lot of stuff yeah. All the same stuff and all this? Huh? All this is all the same stuff? Recons? Recons. I'm doing clutches on the 2.5 bangers. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Oh man, you got a whole bunch oh, yeah. already separated. The Grande banger. There you go. That's the color I was killing them on the day. Mondo Shad. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when we first started designing these baits, I was not a giant fan of the mini recon. This one right here, the one I was throwing actually for the most part today, the, the, the mini banger, the size of the mini banger is fine. I mean, it's a square bill, it's fine, but the little tiny mini recon was not my favorite. Today, yeah, I like that three to six foot range. The size of it was perfect because the, the bait fish they were eating were really tiny. So it kind of, I don't know. I think it always, always plays factor. People always say big fish, or excuse me, big baits catch big fish, but there's times when the big fish aren't eating big bait. They're literally only eating small bait, so. I don't know. You always have to have like, like nothing, like, I, a better way to put this is your tackle and the stuff that you have inside of your boat or your, your, your pond fishing bag is more or less, it should be nothing more than a tool. Utilize that tool in a certain way. Long rant that we're not gonna go on, but I just wanna throw that out there. It's, that was it. thoughts with me. Okay, so if you guys have been following along over on the Real America channel, you guys know I've been getting my, my all my stuff has been getting prepped for elk season. I've got another block coming and I also need to get my bow broadhead ready, I guess. I have gone through two different types, no, three, no, two different types of broadheads so far. I was using G5 Montex, not, not using those. I actually got some slick tricks. Now I've decided against those, so I'm gonna take the rest that I have back. And I've actually decided to go with expandables. I know I was always against expandables. I know that one of you guys actually said in the comment section down below that I need to go out and test expandables and try them out. And I've had a very just hard time with this bow and getting them like with, with broadheads. I know a lot of you guys do know once you get to farther distance, the, the broadhead will start drifting your arrow and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna get into that. So I've decided to go with expandables and that's what we're gonna roll with for the year. We're gonna, we're gonna run with expandables and that's my, my, final, my final time with it. My final time, I just gotta get my other block in. But if you guys are not following that channel, you guys need to, because I'm about to do my, my truck build over there. I've got some of that stuff just came in. I just have a box from Vortex, which I'll open that also tomorrow on The Real Americans. But this is gonna be it for this video over here on Lunkers TV. I gotta go pick up Avery and I'm going to dinner tonight with my preacher. So that's pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure, like I said, to go over to Carl's and check out the new baits. I'm so excited and I wanna thank you guys so much for for, for all the loving support that you guys have given the Guggen Spot over the last couple years. I, we would not be in this position without you guys. I do love you guys, and I hope you guys do understand that. And I will see you guys at a later date. Other than that, you guys, you guys know the video. Click down there, right there. Hey, click the one right below. Hey, subscribe right down there. Do tell them I love every single one of you. Thanks.